button now. No, don't do that. I already did. Damn it. Welcome. Did you want to do... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Freckles and the Fro. I'm the Fro. I'm the Freckles, and I'm here. How are you today? That's good. I'm uh, glad. I'm glad you're doing okay. I wasn't talking to you. Okay. I was talking to the listener. Oh, okay. Because they I'm they just... clearly answered back. Yeah, definitely. So. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> what? I'm <laughs> sorry to hear that. Why would you be sorry? Uh, listen, I'm giving. We're giving both answers. You said oh. it's so it's good to hear. I'm saying I'm sorry. No. Maybe they right. weren't having such a good day, and now they're listening to this and. They might have a worse day. I was Who just knows? about to say that. <laughs> they could have a worse day. Uh, so today, what are we talking? What are we talking about? Uh, things. Things. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. We're talking about things. Um. So, as per, you probably heard the intro. You kind of know what we're talking about. I always like to put an intro that like themes with whatever we're talking about, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we're talking about Disney, Disney, Disney World, Disney World, Disney World, Disney World. Yeah, that um, one. I would say I, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm. I would say I'm a Disney head, but I think you, out of the two of us, are more Disney like. I think I think you would say Disney master, not even a Disney head. I wouldn't even say that. I know a lot of things you that do a know lot things. of that a lot of other people don't know. Mm-hmm. But that's also why I don't know a lot of other things. Yeah, it's just filled. It's because <laughs> I just... got I got so much knowledge on very specific subjects that I should not have. Do you know Walt Disney's full name? Walter Elias Disney. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's great. He was born in a small oh, town in Missouri. Oh, Lord. Here we told you I'm a, I'm a Disney head, but I'm not Disney master over here. And he got the idea to make a theme park after going to a county fair with his kids. There it and is, here everyone. Here we are. Some two, number of years later. Two adults almost hitting their 30s, loving that junk. Oh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't say that part. I don't, I'm really close to it and I don't like it. Bro, it's fine. Like, my mom is like, what's it called? Oh, I won't do this to her. I love you. No, don't. Uh, just, whatever. Let's mother- get into today's topics. <laughs> Okay, so Let, let's just move past that. So, as you know, we're both like Disney fans, and uh, I I grew up on it, and that's like my my steez. He Steve grew up on it, but that's my steez. So we wanted to talk more about like you know Disney things and Disney themed things. You know, you came here to listen to things. Um, so one of the first ones I wanted to talk about was like favorite movies, because that one's gonna take a while. Because uh, I have three, but honestly, three wasn't enough. So, uh, do we want to get the other stuff out of the way if we're going to talk about the movies for a while? We could always do a part two. I mean, you're right. So, if I we. Mean, s- not that there you- won't be another Disney podcast at some point, but oh, yeah. De- definitely. Because, you know, with the. So, let's talk, you know, instead of doing movies first, let's talk about like the parks i guess we could talk about like the parks first um i've I've never been to disneyland but i'm dying to i'm dying to because that is would like to yeah that's that's the og that's the og yeah that's the home but like it's it's a lot smaller that's okay i don't need much and it's in the middle of the city (laughs) what really uh yeah so uh ew yeah, uh, Disneyland is like in the middle of Anaheim. That's stinky. and then uh, and then across the street is uh, the other park that's there, California Adventure. Ooh, and they're just in the middle of the city. Oh man, traffic must be a nightmare. Oh, definitely. Oh my goodness, but yeah, that's the that's the OG. Um, that's what everybody tells me is that the Disneyland is just small, 
And I'm like, that's a, yeah. that's okay. That I'm okay with that because that's Walt. This was Walt's idea. This is 110 percent Walt's baby. Like well, I want to I mean, be. So here. is World. He was. He was, he was alive. alive. For he was pre- alive for it. He, I believe, he, he passed died before, after opening. Yeah, I think before he, no, after. No, it was before. He died before the before. opening. And his okay. brother took over, and then his brother passed. Yeah, right. Um, no, so, uh, mm, I'm pretty sure Roy is still alive. Really? I'm Googling it. Yeah, okay, you Google it. I'll keep talking about people. Okay. I could, I could multitask, but... Um, but yeah, but um, no, but... A wall, yeah, like, so, war, land Disneyland, is, California. D- Disneyland is, to me, in my sense, that's the first. That's like the first kid. You want to visit the first kid because they're the they're the yeah. beginning, and um, uh, yeah, Roy Disney has passed. Did he really? Shit! He, I I told you he died re- like a, I think a year or I two. I fact check some shit. Yeah, he died um a few months after Walt Disney World opened in 1971. No, yeah. no. See, I was thinking of Roy's son, uh, Roy. Yeah, I think he's still. He's then, also dead, though. No, no he's also dead. But no, there's only. I think there is like, of course, the Disney family is still alive. I think it's somebody. Yeah, there's I think it's one his of them out there somewhere. I think it's his granddaughter who's still alive. Something like that. Something Either like way, that. I saw her in a, in a in a show, and she was talking about uh, millionaires and how they suck. But that's another time to talk about. Yeah, uh, I remember that one. That was a good you one. You saw that, right? It's. I think it's called Explain. Yeah. Yeah, the show's really good. It's Something not the like podcast. That. I don't know. Not the podcast. No. But, uh, so, yeah, so Disneyland, that's, like, one of those parks you want to go to, and, but the one thing I'm going to hate about it is the two rides I always go to, like, well, I, I don't want to say my favorite right off the bat, but I have a list. Oh, God, um, of course you have a list. You have a list for everything, <laughs> man. The, so, first of all, yes, because yeah. you got to be organized. No, um, you fucking put it fucking, on the fly. Fucking uh, well, my favorite park out of all is Epcot. Epcot's the best, in That's my nice. opinion, because I like I like food, I like mm-hmm. drinking, mm-hmm. and one of my favorite rides is there. Well, two of my favorite rides are there. One's I an honorable. I swear to God, if you say it's the the land, I'm gonna kick your ass. The land? No, it's not the land. It's not the land. Oh, the land's well, stinky. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Not the land. Terrible um, ride, and nobody should like it. Uh, really? Why do you think it's that terrible? It's educational. <laughs> Ooh, then you're gonna really hate me. Oh, uh, what are you, Nemo and friends? No, that's my niece. But uh, uh yeah. No, okay. no, that one's too. Nah, I'm more of um, uh, what's it called? Spaceship Earth. Like that's. Oh no. Yeah, spaceship. We can thank the Phoenicians. It's so good. It's a very good time. It's so it's like I don't want to ruin it for people who've never been to Disney yet or you have know that you their know ride. they're uh they're updating it. No. Yeah, it's getting a getting a nice little refurbishment. Oh yeah, I <laughs> love that. I can't wait. Um, yeah. Because that's like the one ride that I just love to go on, man. Like uh, it's just such a chill time. Like you got a drink if you sneaked it in. Uh, and you just chill there, and you're just watching the the good animatronics. It's just it's such a it's such an experience to the senses, and that's just like one of my favorite rides. Like, and the ending is the best part in my opinion. Like, it, in the one time I went on it, it got stuck in that part, and I was just there for oh. like five minutes. It was beautiful. That that's the the bit in space, right? Where yeah. you're just staring at like the stars. Not gonna lie, when I was there like two years ago, I almost fell asleep during that because I was like, I, it, I don't even know what time of day it was, but I was just I was vibing and I was really relaxed. Super. And I was just like, yeah, this this is the this is the mood. That ride itself is super vibing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. That ride itself is just super vibe. Um, but when it comes to that ride, that one's good. And oh, I could ride that one like three times and never get bored. Like more, sorry, not three times, more than three times and not get bored. Uh, what about you? Any uh, anything at uh, and what's your favorite park and a ride that you like from that um, uh, park? I mean, I I don't know. I mean, I like it all. 
Really? You don't, don't even I have don't, a favorite? I don't play favorites. I what? don't play favorites. I'm, I play favorites. Every, every park's got something. That's true. That's absolutely 110% true. Um, so, well, about, so we're, we started with Epcot. Epcot's my favorite park. What's All your right, favorite rides to that. go through Epcot? I mean, I really liked uh, uh, R.I.P. to Maelstrom. That, that oh. was a vibe. Oh my goodness, really? I didn't even know that. It was good, and now it's frozen. It's literally the exact same ride, just like overlaid frozen. with frozen thrown up onto it. So um, for some for some people who don't know the ride, could you give like a brief of what what's going on? Oh, uh, uh, so it's a log flume kind of ride. Uh, you get in a Viking boat, and then you go through the water, and then currently, you like go through some of the scenes from Frozen and Olaf's there and the reindeer. And <laughs> other people uh but it used to be like you got a history lesson on norway and That's it was nice. really cool love history lessons because because you know vikings it, it is cold um no but the uh they actually do have like i think on the inside now when you go there it's like i think it was like that before but um they have like all of the like historical like facts that are inside it looks really nice i like that and yeah they have that in one of the one of the little buildings in the in the pavilion there uh mm -hmm. there's all that stuff mm -hmm. but oh, yeah it's really cool uh, um what else i mean mexico the mexico pavilion is very cool ooh. i like I like the Three Caballeros ride. It's a good vibe. Three Caballeros is such a good vibe, too. That's oh, that's another one. That is such a vibe, man. It's so colorful. It smells delicious in there. And it's in the middle of a restaurant you pass. And then yeah. when you like you go through the river, you pass everybody eating. I could look and steal a nacho if I wanted to. Um, that's, no, don't, don't touch the people's <laughs> nachos. Not now, that's especially. Rude. Don't do that. Um... And uh, so that's that's also a vibe. That ride's also super fun. And then um, I know that you – I think you were the one who told me that they're doing an update in Paris in – um. Yes, uh, which I believe as of now it's open. I'm ah! We can fact check this later or whatever. I'll but, put yeah. Uh, I'll put – I'll put in like big the, red letters live if it's if it's yeah now. <laughs> oh definitely um yeah the the France Pavilion in Epcot mm -hmm. got a massive overhaul mm -hmm. and they updated it with all Ratatouille stuff My so he got his own ready. ride I believe there's a new restaurant there like there's a whole nice lovely uh sitting area uh, it's beautiful My you should body. if if you're on this if you're listening to this and you don't know what I'm talking about look it up uh. And then, then, honestly, I just love the – my favorite part is to go to is, is Japan because I'm a giant weeb. Um, oh, and... wait. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I've lied. Again, what? I've lied to the people and to you. <gasps> I do Me? have a favorite. You do? I do. Everybody, everybody sound the alarm. Shut the hell up, everyone. I like Journey into the Imagination starring oh, Figment. Cool. Figment. That's my like, guy. That's what I was gonna say. That's my like, guy. <laughs> I was like, you love, you love Figment. That's what I was. If you guys don't know I who Figment is, I thought about it, and that's what it is. Everybody, if you don't know who Figment is, I'll put up a picture of Figment. If you, he's and a I'll, purple dragon, I and think he's he's my favorite. And I think Stephen might be biased because Stephen does like the color purple and dragons. I I think he might be why I like the color purple. Really. <laughs> that's that makes sense that makes a lot of sense i think i it's definitely like a correlation between the two i don't it's it's very much a chicken and the egg scenario like that i like pigment <laughs> first but i like purple first either way oh that's how i feel about the color green um mm -hmm. and it was uh what's it called uh, i don't know which one came first me hearing it's not easy being green or just the color uh, green vibes. um vibes that's that's oh, another, that's another episode. ride <laughs> that's that's a, no, that's a good ride. That's and anybody that says ride. it's not is a liar. But that's in Hollywood Studios, and, and that's it's that's Muppet next. Vision in 3D. M Muppet Vision in it's 3D. Good time. Is wait, really there, wait, hold on, wait. Were there any other rides in Epcot that we didn't talk about? Mm, oh yes, there was one more. Sorry, one more back to Epcot. Uh, so yeah. isn't it? Isn't it called Ellen's? 
uh, a, a trip to science or science is everywhere. I believe it was called Ellen's El- Energy Adventure. Yes, I Something love like that, that ride. I doesn't love exist that. anymore, I believe. Oh, I hate my. Pretty life. sure that's gone too. Oh uh, my god, I love that ride. That ride is so good. It's got Bill Nye. It's got Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. It's got '90s vibes. Like <laughs> it. It had young Bill Nye, and young. and the animatronic they had for Ellen looked like Owen Wilson. And you can fight me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it and put it in the podcast. You could you could put it in. I'm not wrong. God. Yeah. Uh mm-hmm. It looked like Owen Wilson. It's got like this like it's it's a it's a blue button down shirt that's open over like a white t shirt and some like khaki pants. And she got sent through time to like dinosaur times and it looks like Owen Wilson. Did you find it yet? Hold on, hold on. I'm it it to... can't be that hard to find. Oh, I keep put. It keeps bringing up Alien every time I keep trying to type in Ellen. <laughs> it keeps saying Alien. I'm like, no, I don't want Alien. I want Ellen. I'll look it up later. Oh, uh, dude, it came. It came up one, two, three. So, in the if anybody, if any, if anybody's looking it up. It's not the one they had on the Ellen show, because that was a, that was like a redo. They didn't have the right face. Mm-mm. The one from the actual ride, though. Oh, Spot here it is. On Ellen Owen DeGeneres. Wilson. I found it. Oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah, that thing. But again, you got to look at the one from the ride. I'm not looking the one at they it. had on her show. Where she's fighting the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's fighting some kind of dinosaur it thing. Does look like Owen. Yeah. Um like but yeah. Shit. Okay, cool. So right, that was next the last... park. Oh let's wait, go. What? I'm sorry. What? One more what? from Epcot. Mission Mission Space. Mission the... Space is cool. Mission Space is cool because I've always wanted to go to space. A lot of a lot of the rides I like are either <laughs> educational. <laughs> Or completely left turn. So you're what you'll a nerd. See... Uh, hey, you're right. Next, we're going to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Hollywood Studios. You so... got the Muppets. You okay, got, we got the Muppets. Star Wars. Well, I got... haven't been to Star Wars yet. Neither so... have. I was actually mad. They opened that literally the day after I left. I was pissed. So, so you gotta make sure, cause with every, with with the panini going on right now. Mm-hmm. You got to reserve, like make reservations for what parks you want to show up at. Mm-hmm. So you got to make sure you do that. And then literally at like the crack of dawn, you got to start trying to get the boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. These are pro oh. tips because pro that tip. ride, if you miss the boarding pass, you are not getting on that ride <sighs> at all that day. I think there's like three chances throughout the day to get boarding passes. If you miss it, you're done. You can get uh, there's the other one, uh, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Mm-hmm. That one, it kind of just walk on. I believe it has similar vibes to Mission Space, where like you're in the cockpit and everybody's got a roll or something. Um, I don't know. I'm like I said, haven't it. haven't been on it yet, but I'm gonna be uh, but but yeah, Rise of the Resistance. You got to get that boarding pass, unless they magically change things. No, uh, they won't do that between too. now and then. Mm-hmm. And they I stopped doing it. that, but um, who knows? But uh, we, so we, uh, yeah, what else they got? They got the Toy Story. Ooh, they've that got Toy Story ride kicks ass. Um, they've got the the Indiana Jones show that hasn't changed in about thirty years. Ooh, and they got the whole, the story of Walt Disney there. Like that one's so yeah. much fun. Uh, that's like it's called One Man's Dream. That's a really I like that one a lot. Again, another history <laughs> or educational thing that i really like um and then guys guys the creme de la creme of hollywood studios the two creme de la cremes two? is hollywood tower of terror come on guys Wait, yeah hollywood vibes. tower of terror and is it i keep calling it fantasia but it's not fantasia oh the fireworks show it's called phantasmic phantasmic that one is killer and that's not a ride though but that's really good no it's a it's a full 
it's a stage show it's with fireworks at the end. Oh my god! And so there's nice. a dragon, and it sets things on fire. Mm, that sounds great, guys. <laughs> ten out of Look, ten for me. Uh, anybody that wants to watch it, there's definitely a video on YouTube <laughs> somewhere of the full show. Yeah, but it's so much better in um in oh, live. Of like, of course. Of and then, course, everything's better live. And then an honorable mention, I do like Rock and Roller Coaster because, come on, guys, come on. It's Aerosmith. It's a vibe. It's Aerosmith. It's a hella vibe. Like, uh, And then they play yeah. Dude Looks Like a Lady right before you shoot off. It's great. Well, so not, it depends. Really? There's, so there's four different songs that can play, I believe. Oh, and every they're time like, I- ran- it's randomized each time. So you got lucky if every single time you've gone on and you've heard Dude Looks Like a Lady. Yeah, every time I've gone um, on, it's Dude Looks Like a Lady. Yeah, I'm pretty. Um, again, you know, we're going to make a graphic for every time I lie and we'll fact check me and then <laughs> the graphic will appear somewhere as I'm telling the lie. Um, There'll be a I'm counter. pretty sure that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's four different songs that play. It might be six, but it's definitely different songs every time so okay. we'll look that's at, the we'll, thing we'll look it up um, that'll get fact checked at some point uh and that's that's pretty much it for hollywood studios for me um yeah every, everything else is pretty much either you know you like star wars we got star wars and then the yeah. rest is for the babies which normally my niece loves. yeah there's there's the the disney junior dance party mm-hmm. which Perfect. i got to sit through the last time which was a thing um there's the cars show which has a really cool uh full scale lightning mcqueen animatronic it's pretty rad really actually. i didn't actually i never seen that one oh, so definitely. so when you go to rock and roller coaster mm-hmm. around the the outside like if you walk past rock and roller coaster mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a there's a show building back there and that's where it is it's it's a oh, secret. It's secret. a sneaky little secret. Yeah. So uh, and uh, other before we go though, Hollywood Tower of Terror is one of my top three favorite rides. Yeah. Uh, that's like oh my lord, I love that ride. Like, and it's always different. It the the so what happens in this ride is you basically you sit down, you go through the thing, they make you go super super high, and the you drops you because it's a uh, it's no it I, doesn't. It no, it doesn't. You. It drops It me. does not drop you. It does not drop you. It doesn't drop so, you. So, so a little more trivia uh, coming from me, cause knowledge boy here, uh, doesn't actually drop you. Uh, it pulls you down. Oh no way! Really? It yeah, pulls you. Yeah. So there's there's four different patterns for each like. Each time the ride goes, That's there's what I was four say. different patterns that you can fall to. You but told the ride, me that. Do- but it doesn't actually drop you. The mm. like your so your car that you're in, elevator room thing mm-hmm. that you're strapped into, mm-hmm. slots into a cage, and the cage is being pulled up and pulled down, and that's <gasps> how it gets it to go. Because if it actually, because because if it fell it wouldn't fall properly like it might like shimmy or something but like the pulling keeps everything in track oh oh that's why it feels like that when you when you go up it more like feels like something's like holding it back instead of it just like oh that wow the more you know i'm gonna put the music here uh but my shooting (laughs) song And that's that's what like oh man that ride is so much fun and then I love the Twilight Zone so it's always good to hear Ron Sterling come out and be like you're in a oh. hotel you're in a hotel a spooky good night <laughs> and it's just that's like oh it's such a and then it's so oh and then the the, the cast members outfits are so cute and oh spooky. the bellhop outfits yes oh they're so cute and they're so spooky and um oh then... I got another fun fact. Ooh, about the spooky... Like, yeah, about... Well, about, like, the, the lobby of the hotel. Ooh, I was just about to talk about the lobby. Oh, really? Mm-hmm, that's funny. Oh. Okay, cool. Good segue. <laughs> um, so, uh, the the spider webs that are everywhere. Oh, 
That's so in funny. There. That was a good book. Is that what you were going to talk about? <laughs> about the spider webs. <laughs> All right, fuck it. You say it then. No, 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 no. You say it because I, I was just going to say that's like my favorite part. Like, I love oh. how, like, abandoned and spooky it looks, but I know you were going to lay some facts down. That's yeah. why. Oh, you know it. You know so, it. So, as, yes, it is cool and spooky, uh, they have to uh, pretty much re-spiderwebify it. I believe it's, like, once a month. I love it. I love it. And it's so great. Yeah. It's so spooky. I'm not giving away how they do it. There's a video somewhere on the internet that actually like states like hey this is what it's made out of and i've watched that video i'm not ruining the, that kind of magic for you guys <laughs> and i'm not gonna do that either i just i just assume it's real and they have like actual large spiders walk in and be like they, hey, Drew, see hey, what Drew. happens is if you so if you go to animal kingdom mm -hmm. which is where we're gonna go next and mm -hmm. you go on the safari you know what screw it. we're on animal kingdom now uh you go animal on the kingdom safari now. Uh, you go into the back in the safari, and uh, there's the room with all like the spiders and the insects and stuff. They actually harvest the the silk and the webs, <gasps> and then no they break. No way! Are you serious? <laughs> no, you jackass! I hate you. That, I was so that's excited. That's all. You know what? That's where a lie goes, <laughs> and you can lie. count it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so upset. We're gonna. I was so we're gonna. Excited. I'm gonna make a book. And Steven's Disney lies. <laughs> oh, I would. Uh, people, oh, I'd buy it. I'd be the first one to buy it. Uh, dude, they'd be so believable, and people are just like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. And they'll bring it to Disney and be like, but this guy said it's true. It's like it says he lies he in here. He's, though. <laughs> he's never worked for us. He's never even been here. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even exist. He's not real. Uh, so we're in Animal Kingdom now, and yeah. In Animal Kingdom, th uh, there's a few, like, I like Animal Kingdom for more of its beauty. I really love the, the safari. I love seeing the animals. That's, like, my favorite thing to do when I go there. I love getting yeah. the food. The food and the drinks. Oh, the are food is such a vibe. The food is such a, it's because it's like. There's a lot, of, a lot of vibes going on in this podcast. A lot of vibes. Such a hard vibe. And it stinks because. Uh, oh, I missed something in freaking Epcot. Club Cool, it's not a... Uh, it's not a thing anymore. It's not a thing. Well, because of, you know, the parallelogram. No, uh, it was gone before that. Really? I hate uh, my Due to construct. Well, no, so they're... Uh, Epcot's another one. They're doing a lot of refurbishment on it to get it ready for whatever. I don't know. Just updating no. it. So they got rid of Club Cool. Supposedly coming back, which could be nice. You get some of that nice Beverly. Ooh. Uh, oh. Anybody that doesn't know, Beverly is a product made by the Coca-Cola company. I don't remember what country it's from, I but it's, it's absolutely disgusting. It's Italy. I used to have people – oh, my goodness. I When I first went there, people were just like, try the Beverly. It's so good. It tastes no. like a fart. <laughs> it tastes uh, like a damn fart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, anyway. But, so, one of the drinks there you can only find in Animal Kingdom because it's an African drink. And it's yeah. so delicious. That one in the Japanese carrot juice, killer. Japanese like, carrot juice. Yes, at, at Club Cool Wild. there was a Japanese carrot juice. Everything else was soda. Everything else was soda, but Japan was the only one that was juice. Japan of course. Al always being the healthy boy on deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was delicious. So they yeah. always had like these really good foods there. Um, and, uh, that's where you can meet, like, Tarzan. That was, like, the first time I met Tarzan and Tarzan. Click from, uh, uh, what's it called? Bugs Life. Oh, and yeah, Tarzan. D Tarzan has a meet and greet in Animal Kingdom? Big facts, yep. I've only ever met him in in Magic Kingdom. Yeah, he, he, he sometimes shows up in Animal Kingdom. Sometimes. Huh. Yeah, because we and have a picture. And then it took me a minute to remember who Click was. What? And then there's – in the suck. Tree of Life is a Bugs Life show. Like, what? That is not a good show. <gasps> Steven. <laughs> You're telling me It's Tough to Be a Bug is a good show. Yes, it's super fun. I like watching okay. dung beetles roll on poo-poo. I like okay. when they spray things at us. And my favorite part at the end of the show is when they tell the bugs to leave and your chair vibrates as if bugs are leaving. It's – and you <laughs> – 
everything is so big that it makes you feel like an actual bug, and I loved that. I loved that. You're a bug. I am. (laughs) I'm a little stink bug. Like, (laughs) that's my favorite. That's one of the best. And that and um, uh, Expedition Everest, that one's really good. Everest Uh, is fun. Everest Um, is fun. Uh, Anybody that wants to do something educational in, uh, not, not so much education, actually. Uh, it's just like a little fun side quest for Animal Kingdom, uh, that they've added in the last couple years. Do the Wilderness Explorers thing. I was just about to say that. It's really fun. I did it. I was, I was kind of, like, I completed, like, the base challenge thing, which is get, like, ten of the sticker. So, pretty much, you just go around and, uh talk to cast members that are wearing the Wilderness Explorers uniform, Mm -hmm. and then they give you a sticker if you stand there and listen to them long enough. (laughs) Uh, I had mm -hmm. a challenge to get all the stickers, and I was one away, and I'm pissed. (gasps) I was almost the ultimate explorer. (laughs) You'll be the ultimate explorer in our eyes. Uh, Uh, Yeah. You are the ultimate explorer in our eyes. Listen, the wilderness must be explored. Facts. Uh... And the Tree of Life is just, especially at night, the Tree of Life is so... Oh, yeah, Can didn't I... they didn't they open up Avatar World, too? So, with the addition of Avatar World, because uh, th- we're talking about James Cameron's Avatar. Yeah, not the cool di- one. Which is part of it. Not not The Last Airbender. Or and definitely the M. Night not that. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> not that one. Definitely um, not that one. No, but so since they opened that, and a lot of uh, that movie had like glowing things Mm -hmm. they were like all right well we gotta do all the black light cool stuff but that doesn't work during the day so we gotta have it at night so now animal kingdom because it used to be like all right it's five o'clock the sun's gonna go down in another hour and a half let's go to a different park or go somewhere else we're like the animals are done for the day there's Mm -hmm. no reason to stay here uh but now there's all that stuff they've got an i don't i don't think it's a fireworks show I bl- I think it's just like a projection show on yeah. the water on the and water. the tree and everything, mm-hmm. but is is really cool, is rad. But now Animal Kingdom's like a full day when back when it used to just be like a half like day half morning day session kind of thing. Really, I thought it was yeah. like normally no. whenever we did Animal Kingdom, it was like yeah morning or an afternoon thing, and then you go to Hollywood Studio. That's like the rest of the day. Um, yeah. Well, it it was more of like you go, so you go to Animal Kingdom in the morning, see whatever animals, and then it's just like, well, which park do we want to like spend extra time in? It didn't really matter which. Oh uh, yeah, we uh, would do. We would always do Hollywood. We would either do Hollywood or we'd go back to the Segway. We'd go to Magic Kingdom. Cool. Uh, Let's go be- there then. But before we do Magic Kingdom, did you uh, like any of the water parks? Like, did you do any of the water? Parks, I have or? never done the water parks. Neither I'm not I. a fan. I'm not a fan of being wet in general. <laughs> so, no, stop it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, just not a fan in general of being somewhere and being in wet clothes and you know, also community pools. Not a f- cool thing. Um, I um, understand the need for them in certain places, but I don't, I'm not a, no. Opposite even like Steven. going, out, even like when I go on vacation or like whatever, even if it's not Disney, like the hotel, whatever I'm staying at, they got a pool. Typically, not going in it. Like, eh, not about it. But uh, but yeah. I'm the opposite. Did- Let's get in that community pool. Probably hundreds of people peed in it, but that's fine. Uh, I love wave pools. Like people peeing in it right now. There are people peeing in it as we speak. Um. I love wave pools. I love water rides. Um, but yeah, I've actually never gotten the chance to go to. I think it's called like Blizzard Beach or something like that. Uh, so there's there's two of them, three of them. There's two. So there's Blizzard Beach is one of them, and everything's like snow themed, and there's like penguins or whatever, and Santa Claus is there. And Santa's uh, there. The other one though is Typhoon Lagoon. Yes, Typhoon Lagoon. I haven't been there either. I I know it sounded like I was going to be like, but that one. No, haven't been there either. Don't. <laughs> Don't have Ooh, a they came I out do, with however, a... uh, there is one thing that I do enjoy about water parks. And it's 
the most adult thing possible, and it's getting drunk in the lazy river. Oh, that is oh. that's a vibe. Cause that like is such a vibe. Like all of you doesn't get wet, which I'm cool with. It's like just you know whatever parts touching. So like bottoms of your feet and like your, your ass through the your, your butt through the tube. But like other than that, you you know mostly dry, which is great and drinking. So that's a thing. And drinking. Um. So, uh, yeah, that one I just wanted to, to see if there were any, like, small things that are non-Disney related that you really like to do. Uh, well, they're not a part of the parks, but they're, like, like uh, Downtown Disney I really like, or Disney Springs it used to be called. Um, that's, that's uh, sometimes... other, other way around. Oh, sorry, Springs Disney? Uh, nope, one, one more time. Flip both things. Used to be called Downtown Disney, is now called Disney Springs. Oh, I th- okay. And then, oh man, uh, R.I.P. And I, I believe, I believe the one in California is still called Downtown Disney. Disney. Oh, okay. And R.I.P. to Disney Quest. Uh, what's it called? Disney Quest. That w- that wasn't even just like a Florida thing. That was like a con- nationwide thing that they tried yeah. to do and did not. It failed horribly. Dude, it was the best thing ever. It was the most ninetyest thing in the world. And I had the pleasure of going to it before it closed, and it was so much fun. Like, honestly, like, because I love uh, arcades and um, cabinet machines, and, like, I got to play, like, every cabinet I've always wanted to play. And I was just like, man, I just want to take these. (laughs) I was like, I wish this play, like, the floor was, like, that purple with the squiggly 90s looks like the freaking uh, Rugrats uh, logo like it was beautiful oh, oh they had yeah. pizza and chicken nuggets was the only thing on the menu that's uh, all you need uh, Stephen you're right I won't argue with that so now we'll we could go to the creme de la creme which well one more one more thing before we get to to Magic Kingdom uh, one, I, one more thing one more thing uh, is what? the what else? What did you want I was to talk gonna about? Say, I was gonna say because there's one thing that's a non-Disney resort is the uh, is the uh, what is it called? Resort hopping. So uh, oh, like hotel to hotel. Hotel to hotel. So Disney's really cool with you visiting their more like really fancy ex- like uh, uh, like big hotels. And my favorite is the Polynesian. It's like a beautiful like Polynesian Hawaiian type style hotel. Oh, it's just such a – that's such a vibe, man. It's so – Which, currently under construction. That's fine. Uh, and they're the get, They're making it more uh, – they're Moana. giving it Moana vibes. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be Stitch, Lu, um, Moana, and that's – Well, it, it already had this, this – the Lilo and Stitch kind of well, overlay to Moana. it. Like, Stitch was a statue in – a fuck in the middle of the lobby, and mm-hmm. he has the show and a meet and greet there and everything. Yeah, oh, uh, um, the the restaurant Ohana is there. And, yeah, and um, the food's all Polynesian based. Like I, I, when I used to live in Florida and work for the company, I would go to the Polynesian at least three times a week for dinner. Like God. I love that place. Um, Contrary and- wise, my favorite resort is oh, your no. least favorite. <laughs> it's my because I, I worked there. I, yeah, I like I like the wi- the wilderness lodge. Uh, Native yeah, Lincoln wil- Lodge. Wilderness lodge. It it look it does it it looks exactly like that, but I just like that outdoorsy kind of cabin feel to it. Like they everything a, about it is very fun. They got a fake Yellowstone. It's got a little stupid geyser that goes off. Uh, I like okay, it. okay. The the stupid geyser is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a re. It's like a actual little geyser that's pretty cool it's that, also that's just cool. really nice that like if like you could just take a boat ride over to the magic kingdom that is true and it's very it feels like very outdoorsy like you don't really feel like you're on a resort because you're surrounded no. by the woods you're like surrounded yeah. by the woods um but yeah it's the food there is not great Be, as a chef that we didn't food was we not didn't eat there we didn't eat there. <laughs> I expected. Uh, <laughs> gotta be, gotta be real. We didn't eat at the hotel. We went everywhere else to eat. Yeah, the food's not. Mm, it's not that great. Uh, it's okay. But but the hotel's pretty cool. But it's very. It's like bottom bottom tier. Uh, I prefer Pop Century over freaking uh the the Frontier Lodge. Like definitely no, no thank you. Honestly, those lower level are uh, super. Ugh, also a vibe. <laughs> they're not. They're not. 
They're not bad. They're really cute. Uh, especially... Some, some of them are laid out a little weird. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a possibility that your the walk from your room to the bus stop Ooh. is like is about half a mile. It's pretty long. It's pretty. It's a pretty much. You better get up early. Uh, we did um one time we did one of the value lodges and we did um, uh, art of animation. Art of animation was yeah, cute. Yeah, that's art what we an- did too. And Which rooms did you those. stay in? We stayed in the. Uh, Little Mermaid, Lion King. Lion King. No, oh, my sister. Went. Okay. She, okay. She went. So she did Lion. Uh, she did a uh, uh, Little Mermaid. Cool. So Little Mermaid is past the Lion King. Ooh, that's like, we like were far. We had to, and... we had to walk through the Lion King area to get to the Little Mermaid area. Yeah, and it's far. Yeah, that's pretty far. We were like, yeah, we're like, damn, we're pretty far past us. Yeah, that's Mm-mm. pretty yeah, no, far. Yeah, no, it was. I, I was very thankful both my parents had the little scooters. And got on for a ride? Uh, on a ride? Like, we, so what happened was, like, we'd get back <laughs> from the park at the end of the day. Uh-huh. We'd all go back to the rooms. I'd throw on, like, my, you know, change out of my shorts that I've been wearing all day into a different pair of shorts. Uh-huh. And uh, I would take one of their scooters and everybody's cups that you get from the resort. And I would drive back to the the dining hall area, and fill up all the cups with drinks, How <laughs> and nice. then drive back. Oh, the little scooter! <laughs> but it but it was just the point of because like you don't want like they won't fill that cup up in the park, like mm-hmm. it's strictly a resort thing. Yes. So it's like okay, That's the only nice. time I'm at the resort is at night, so I don't want my drinks sitting there all day. So it's like all right, I'll fill it up. I'll drink whatever in the night in the morning i'll dump it out i'll clean it this way it's not all sticky and gross and then when we get back it's like okay if you're not that far it's not a bad walk but from where we were i was like screw it i'm taking the scooter screw it screw it i'm taking the scooter but um one of the other ones that i really like is that I, i've never stayed in but i want to is pop century because they have themed hotels and I want to stay in a 80s or a 90s themed room. I figured you would say that. Come on. Who doesn't want to live in an 80s room? I want. I already do. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but it's just like my sister wants to, like my sister-in-law really wants to stay at that hotel too. But she she's really big into like, you know, 50s gangsters. So she wants to live in like a room dedicated yeah, let to the her, 50s. So let her go to the 50s. You go to the 80s. Mom will go back to the 70s. She'll love it there. Oh, she'll uh, love it there. Uh, oh, that, we all throw everybody around. <laughs> I'll come back yeah. with my giant Motorola phone and my button-up t-shirt. Ugh. Oh, come on in my fade and my high top. <laughs> Do the kid and play. Oh, no, that's the 90s. Never mind. Yeah. That's the 90s. My bad. That's the, either way. I'm gonna be in either or, so it would be cool with my boombox, and my hammer pants, and my Ghostbusters T-shirt. Anyway, um, and now okay, now we could finally go to Magic Kingdom because we've are, left. Are you the quite hotel. finished de- derailing this conversation? I am now. Okay. Okay, I had to think uh, about it. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're honest. I had to think about it. I just had to make sure. But oh, Dole um, Whip is tasty, by the way. Which you can get in Adventureland in the Magic Ew. Kingdom. That one's I don't like that one. It's the same stuff. No, it's not. You know what? Actually, I can't dispute you on that, considering you worked in culinary. No, it didn't. Although it didn't work there, but worked in culinary, it. so I'll I'll give you that pass. So the the one in Adventureland does not have the vanilla swirl in it. That's why I don't like it. I, it's just but, straight pineapple ice cream, and uh, I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. I like the pineapple ice cream. It's delicious. Like, that's such a delicious concept. But it's got to have that vanilla swirl to dumb down the sweetness a little bit. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Um, donate to my Patreon. Uh, Fair enough. So, uh, so, but yeah, so that's, the, that's why I have to go to the Polynesian for Dole Whip, uh, because it has the swirl. This one just straight pineapple, and I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but my favorite ride of all time in Disney is in this park. But we'll save mm-hmm. that for last. Um, uh, okay. We're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the honorable mentions first. So sure. this it's a small world slaps uh, ass. C- uh, classic, but 
Eh. Come on, Terrifying. man. Terrifying. It's a small world. Nope. After Stop. All. Copyright. Oh, Stop I was it. Just, I was going to sing it in Spanish. I don't know. Nope. That's part of it. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> it sings it I'm in gonna different give, languages. I'm going to give you a fun bit. It's in almost every language because that's no. what's on the ride. It's a. Oh, wait, no. No. Nope. we get copywritten again if we sing it? I just. Next next mention. What do we got? Okay. What's on the list? Give me, uh, give me more. Peter Pan's Adventure. That one's super fun. Op- Love that one. Another opening day attraction. Classic. Unfortunate. Ride time. N- like the wait time. Never. Uh, except for during the Panini here. Uh, never below 95 minutes. It's such an a An hour good and a half ride, to though. wait for. An hour and a half to wait for a, a five minute ride. Seven minutes. Whatever it is. Too long for me. Sorry. I love that's why I I miss Fast Pass. Like Fast Pass was like, oh, I I would waste a Fast Pass on that ride. <laughs> no, that's no. I used to waste Fast Passes for that ride because it's so nope. it's such a cute ride, man. Um, not a ride, but two cute att- attractions. Uh, sure. Is the little like mirrors where you see Merlin in? I really loved those. The uh, mirrors where you see Merlin. Merlin, like you talking the... about Sorcerers of the Kingdom? Yes, the, the card little... game. Yes, they're so cute. I love. Uh, doing... They shut that down recently. Like I want to say, during during this during the pandemic, they shut it down. That breaks my heart because I I have so much to say about Sword in the Stone. I'm I'm so you, yo I'm mad about it. I was almost done collecting the cards. I almost had all of them. <laughs> Do you know what you can make with those uh, freaking cards? Uh, nothing. Absolutely oh, nothing. Good. Uh, uh, some, no, some but um. Buy them off of you. Oh, give me like ten years. I'll. I got. They're they're in a binder. They're protected. Give me like ten years. But um, anybody that doesn't know, Sorcerer of the Kingdom, uh, it was a card based game where you walked in every time you showed up to the Magic Kingdom. You could go to the firehouse and get a pack of cards, and each one had like an attack power or some other nonsense to it and you would find uh there were spots throughout the magic kingdom that had little uh camera sensors and a little video screen and you could save the kingdom using the card game uh that's about it they discontinued it uh last year uh but yeah it was a thing it was fun for a while and now it's gone. I'm very upset. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, the Sword in the Stone, of course. Cute little attraction. Try to pull it uh, out. No longer moves. Mm, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I actually had a dream the other night where I accidentally pulled it out, an actual oh, sword, and they dubbed me king. Uh, <laughs> and they dubbed me queen. It was great. Uh, um, you used to move. Uh, and then people broke it does not move was broken i think twice it was broken definitely at least once you can't have nothing nice um so that one's really fun uh what's it called man what else you got honorable mentions yeah these are just honorable mentions the dumbo ride of course ah Uh, it's dumbo it's dumbo it's sweet um what's it called the train not a ride, but just it takes you from one part of the park to another part of Magic Kingdom. Oh, the the actual like railroad. Yes, the actual railroad. The, That's the, really the full cute. size steam engine. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, very cool. Currently shut down, uh, because of construction they're doing somewhere along the track. I believe. Oh, the construction is because of the Tron coaster that they're building. Mm-hmm. Well, Tron's uh, cool. It. It crosses over the train tracks or close enough to the train tracks where it's like, oh, this could be hazardous if something falls oh, and hits okay. the train. So, temporarily suspended. But you can still go to, like, in the station and see all the cool things. But yeah, mm-hmm. train, definitely a good time. Also, very convenient if you're at the front of the park and need to get to the back or vice versa. Very, yeah, and it's also a really nice scenery trip. Like, I actually, yeah, really, that's another there's zip. tons of like, as even though you're just riding a train, there's like diorama models 
in like tunnels and stuff, and you could see them, and they're beautiful. Also, there's another honorable mention of a of a form of transportation that's not a ride. I was watching um, you know that YouTube channel you gave me. I'm gonna put it here because it's a really good channel. Um, Unbound Disney or uh, Offhand Disney, yeah. Off Offhand Disney. So I've been watching that to like mentally prepare myself. And, nice. Uh, uh, he was talking about like under um underrated rides, and it's the the the, the thing that's in the air that travels. The from, like, uh, the the transit authority people mover yes no 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 not uh, the people mover but that's also a really good one that he not mentioned. the people pe people mover just opened up again oh yes oh i was so afraid the people mover no, wasn't gonna be open. wait so wait what one were you talking about uh I, it, i'm trying to remember which one it is i think it goes where from magic, where is it i think it's from magic kingdom to yeah. i think epcot Oh, goes, the, the the new thing, the Skyliner. Yes, the Skyliner. And he said the Skyliner yeah. is like, that's a really fun one, too. That's a beautiful scenery. It takes you Not, over water. So, so it actually has multiple stops. It stops at – it has a stop at Epcot. It has a stop at Magic Kingdom. I believe it also has a few different stops at different uh, resorts also. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, but I've, but I've yeah. only done it for park traveling. Yeah. And then the but boat. it's very, it's a very cool gondola system, and it's really it. And then um, um, the boat that takes you from uh, that you can get at uh, the French quarters in New Orleans uh, ho uh, style hotel, and you can take it, and it takes you to Magic Kingdom. That's cool. Yeah, that's uh, similar to what we were talking about over at uh, the Wilderness Lodge. The yeah, little I boat like, system. I like that. One. Um, I thought. I thought you were talking about the uh, the Mark Twain riverboat in the middle of Magic Kingdom. Nah. Oh, but that one is really cool too. I like that one yeah. too. It's a very cool uh old school steamboat. The big you know, the big wheel on the back. Big wheel um, boat. Uh, uh Yeah. And then what what's else? another what else one? you got? Um I was gonna say the country bears, but I, the country bears oh, always creep me country out. Bears. They creep me out. They break down a lot, <laughs> but it is, <laughs> but it is a nice way to get out of the Florida heat. That's like true. for a, for a good like half hour. Yeah, the country. I like the the. Yeah, I kind of like being out in inside, but I could just yeah, go like into it, the Hall of Presidents. Then I could just go to the Hall of Presidents, or I. I so I recently watched the. Uh, the previous Hall of Presidents, because the the new one's not open yet, uh, with our guy Joe. Uh, oh, but they added someone the previous one in. <laughs> right. Yeah. I. But I haven't seen the Hall of Presidents. I don't think ever. I I'd have to talk to the people. Uh, Neither have see. I. I don't, I don't think I have either. It's not an important show, but it's. V I mean, listen. It just has all of them, which is very cool. Um, but it's also just cool because, like, the Lincoln animatronic, like, it has been updated since, but, like, that's the original Whoa, thing. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, they started with, like, you know, the kind of, like, tiki room type like there. It's just, like, a two motion, like, the body tilts, the mouth moves, you know, the head's on a swivel kind of thing. But, like, the first, like, full scale, like, animatronic that was made was the, uh, the Abraham Lincoln one. Yeah. I believe that I believe that debuted at the World's Fair, along that's... with the, along with the Carousel of Carousel, Progress. Carousel of Progress. That's like my one of my second favorite like rides. I love the Carousel of Progress because I, it's an original. I have a I have a love hate relationship with that ride. Oh come on, it's cool. It it gets you. I think I think we've it's talked very about cool. This. We've talked it's about very this. cool. Yeah, me and you have. We have not on the show so. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it up for them. Yeah. Uh, I do like it. It's a very cool concept for a ride system, you know, ride, you know, the whole story of it. Unfortunately, when you deal with things like the future, the future eventually shows up. And if you're not right, your ride kind of looks dumb. Oh, but that's what I, I think that's what we said the last time. I was like, they were right. Like, Things are digital. The only thing is yes, we don't live in space. Yes, they are right. The main thing now, though, is they need to either need to, A, 
update it and give me a new future, or B, stop calling it the future. It's no longer the future, it is the present. But it's, the, the, I guess it's because they're saying it's the future because some things haven't come yet. Like, some things have, like, you know, digital, like, I think there was a joke about, you know, a digital oven and um, VR headsets. I, like I, that. Can, I own two VR headsets, and I can connect to my microwave from my phone. So, yeah, that's a few of the things that have come to the present, um, but there future. are some things, the, the present and the future, but with the future, like, I think there was, like, one thing where they're living in space, like, the outside is, like, a space hub, and, like, we don't Not live in space Not in that ride. Yet. Not in that ride? No, what? they're still on Earth. Why do I remember there being a space Because hub? you're getting it conf- Because you're getting it confused with Spaceship Earth where you go into space. They use the si- similar animatronics and face molds and stuff in the ride. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Ah, they, that's, no. what I, that's what I think they should do. They should take that little window that's in the back by the kitchen- Take it down, turn it into space. Boom. We're back in the future, baby. No. Yes. They, it, the ride has gone long enough. It needs an update. Yeah, well, that, that's, and that could be the update. No, that's a very simple update that takes maybe an hour. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Just slap it on there. Hell, slap. in reality, you could do that in between ride sessions. You definitely could. Um, but that's a cool, that's another one. The People Mover we already mentioned. Space the People mo- Mover's a nice way to get off your feet for a little while. The spa- and Space Mountain, baby! Space Mountain. Uh, don't, I don't recommend, like, everyone says it's a really fun ride to see with the lights on. It's scary. Terrifying. 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 Like, don't do it. <laughs> uh, you see various bits of metal sticking in every direction. Uh, and you're like, there's no way this, uh, this roller coaster car fits through that. And then you do. It's real. And scary. there's a reason that they tell you, like, don't put your hands up, don't get out of the car. Uh, you will hit something. Yeah, and yeah, it's not a fun, but it's a, it's a really great ride. Um, what's another one? And again, there's a, I like this ride because again, I like water rides. I like getting. I will not say it on this podcast. Uh, I like getting, you know, splashed with water. Um, I like Splash Mountain. Uh, Splash Mountain's fun. I love Splash Mountain. Yeah, Splash Mountain's I know I fun. said before, I don't like being wet, but I do love Splash Mountain. Okay, I'm going to put it's... a lie here. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what's the lie, though? Lie. You said you don't like, like, getting, you don't like getting wet, but you like yeah, being on Splash I s- Mountain. Yeah, I don't sit in the front. Oh, you're supposed to sit in the front. No, that's how you get wet. You're gonna get more wet in the back. Mm. I'm gonna bring a bucket of water with me and throw it behind me. Don't you but, dare. But that one's really fun. Like, such a ch- another chill water ride, like a little log ride. Like, that one's really fun. Um, Splash Mountain's always gonna be like, ooh, the minecart ride, the Seven Dwarves minecart ride. That one's really fun. Oh, I'm actually, th- wait. Splash Mountain's changing. Oh, yeah, it's the. It's Forgot the- to bring that up. Oh yeah, it, that uh, one. in the future it will be Princess and the Frog. Yeah! Currently it is not, but uh yeah, they're giving it uh I don't the ride itself is not changing. Like you're still going to get in the log and go through the water flume. Yeah, it's just like it's it's going to be But uh they're the 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 bear, the fox and the rabbit they're getting their asses out of there. That's all uh, right. You know, I didn't even know that until like a long time ago so it's fine uh, yeah a lot of people a lot of people don't on. like to talk about it a lot of people say a lot of things next topic we'll move on uh yeah. splishy splash we're taking a bath in that one um what's another one that i really like oh the mine cart the seven dwarves mine cart uh, seven dwarves mine train uh one of the first rides to use i believe they were the a100 plus animatronics uh it was a new style of like uh joint system whatever kind of motors they were using i think they were like full electric now instead of the hydraulic ones that they used to have Mm -hmm. but they have the dumb projection faces oh yes they do have the dumb (laughs) they do and occasionally they go occasionally 
they go out, and so it's either just a black face or you'll get the uh, the projector logo, and it'll say 3M, which really is the funny. brand of projector that's in the heads. Um, really I funny. personally don't like them at uh, all. I, I saw that on Offhand Disney, and I thought that shit was so funny because there's, like, yeah. one on the Buzz Lightyear ride. And uh, uh, it is it is in fact Buzz Lightyear himself. Yeah, and his face will go <laughs> his face will go out sometimes. Yeah, and the uh really those funny. animatronics. They're uh Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, the Buzz Lightyear thing. They're on the Frozen ride in Epcot. Mm -hmm. So occasionally Elsa and Anna just won't <laughs> have faces. Uh, what are the other ones? Uh oh, the the new ride in Hollywood Studio, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They mm. use them there, too. And occasionally, Mickey and Minnie just won't have faces. Oh, my goodness. Did I forget the TMC movie um, ride in Hollywood? That one's good, too. Uh, the I Great mean, Movie Ride? Yeah. Yeah, that one's used, a good used one. Used to be fabulous. Oh, their, their Halloween fun, section is very fun sad. Fun fact. Fun fact about that ride. Uh, in the Casablanca scene, they used a real airplane. And they cut it in half because it didn't fit. That's so sick. The oh. other half of that airplane... Was in the Jungle Cruise ride. <gasps> no way! The, really? The, the air, the, the the plane crash part of the Jungle Cruise ride. Uh huh. Where there's just the back half of a plane. <gasps> Those sneaky bitches. It's just the half of the plane. Which Jungle Cruise ride also getting an update? Yeah. Where are they gonna put Jaws? <laughs> what? Kidding. No, that's that's that's, that's, that's a water. Universal property. Ooh, we'll we'll talk about that another time too. That's a different podcast. Uh, um, no. So they're updating it. Uh, they're getting rid of the uh, the uh, weird stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I don't know how to say it. So that's PC. Uh, oh, the um, the very yeah. not culturally appropriate. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, the, that whole shenanigan. I think that, I think some kind of weird thing. Yeah, I saw that on Offhand Disney too. Yeah. So that that whole thing's getting an update. Uh, they're more realistic animal type things. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there's a movie coming out about it, starring The Rock. Starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, everyone. I love that yeah. dude and his head. Oh, so big. So, dude, that we need a wrestling episode too. Not a. Oh, we could, we could do that. Not the podcast, not the episode. So no. we're back um, to Magic Kingdom, and yeah. there's the Aladdin ride, which is the the Magic Carpet ride, which is basically Dumbo. It's the same Dumbo ride, just carpet. Uh, Pir fun fact about the Aladdin ride, actually. Mm -hmm. So outside the ride, in like in the little Agrabah section of Adventureland, mm -hmm. uh, there's the giant golden camels. Mm -hmm. Uh, used to spit water. Yes, I knew that I think that they one. still might occasionally. Yes, they do. Uh, Also, used to be part of a parade float in Hollywood Studios. No way! Yeah, you can find the footage online. Uh, back when Aladdin came out, uh, they had he had a float. Back, back when Hollywood Studios was about movies. About movies. Uh, and, not, and not just, you know, a place to put their all their... <laughs> IPs and stuff. Everything uh, else. Yeah. Uh, uh, there was an Aladdin float in the parade that had like this gigantic inflatable genie balloon on a float. That was. It was huge. I believe it was in Full House. Uh, Full House. Yeah. Okay. It was. It was an it was, episode I, of Full House. Yeah. So that. So a actually, if you watch that episode of Full House, you'll see the two camels on the front of the float. With the heads bobbing and weaving, like doing the little turn back and forth that they do. That episode so, when yeah. they go to Disney is so kick ass. I love that yeah. episode. It's like it's multiple episodes too. I think it's like a two parter. It's a two part episode. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's part of the Aladdin bit now. Um, and then what else? There's the. What else? Oh, and then Pirates of the Caribbean, um, which they updated. Uh, it used to be the uh, men were chasing the women. Now the women are chasing the men. Uh, the yes, know, there's that. that they one. uh, they've added, uh, I mean, granted, this is now several years old, but they, uh, it used to be the uh, who is now the pirate, uh, lady, uh, Red. Mm-hmm. She used to be the one that was getting auctioned off before yes. the 
before people were like, hey, that's sexist. Yes. And they were just like, okay, now she's fighting back. Like, that's a thing. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. And then, right. And then uh, at, that... and, at, and at some point, they'll uh, they'll put Jack Sparrow at the end of the treasure room. Um, uh, no, that's that's a permanent thing. He's oh, there. Oh, it's a permanent thing? Oh, well, yeah. Cause He's just there. When sometimes when I went, he wasn't there. Sometimes I did go, he was there. So that's why I was really? like, really interesting. Yeah. And then I've some, never seen it not there. Yeah, that was like, yeah, it was weird. It was like just an empty chair, and I was just like, oh, I guess Jack mm. went to the bathroom. Um, and uh, some people like there was like one time where actual Johnny Depp was there, dressed up like Jack Sparrow. Uh, was, that was not in that was Florida. Disneyland. That was out in Cal. Yeah, that was land. Because he uh, lives there. I, I thought that was really cool. It was a very uh, cool concept. Uh, they do still do something similar to that. It's not, hmm. obviously not famous people. But uh, during Halloween, they have actual cast members dressed as pirates in the ride scenes. So, like, that. there's, uh, uh, on in the boat battle, there's two people up on the boats yelling at each other and, like, no, fight for us, fight for us, blah, blah, blah. And then in the scene with... Uh, the pirate red. Uh, there's somebody up on the bridge, who heckles you, which is hysterical, because they get real specific. Oh no! Because <laughs> the yeah, because they can see you really well, even though you can't see them as well. So they'll be like, "Hey, you in the yellow shirt, put your phone down." <gasps> and it's just like, "Oh, talking to me." <laughs> oh no, that's me. But that only um... but that only happens during the Halloween party, uh, which. If you get a chance to go to, it's actually kind of cool. Oh yeah, definitely. And then okay, and then lastly, because we gotta we gotta wrap up the parks because we're getting almost at uh, an hour and ten. I mean, listen, we can always wait. Well, what happened? We're what's it called? This the this this episode. How long are we right now? E yeah, so Jesus. we can go. Jesus. Okay. We'll, we'll go a little longer because I want just to finish the parks, and then next time okay. we'll we'll talk next about time, movies. We'll talk about all the the accessories to it. <laughs> We'll talk about that, and then the last one, my favorite ride is uh the haunted mansion. Yeah, um, very good ride. Ninety nine ghosts, you might be next. Ninety nine. <laughs> 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 that's there's that's exactly ninety nine ghosts. You might be next. Very catchy. Is, is that is that the whole bit? No. What is it? Nine nine hundred ninety nine happy haunts. Yes, but there's always room for one more. There you go. See, I was close. No, you were put the not. Two, put the two <laughs> side by side. I was close. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> um, it's a that... good ride. It, uh, yeah, a lot of cool effects on that ride. Uh, one of the most hated effects uh, by the Imagineers is on that ride. Really? Uh, Which one? Uh, it would be the Hatbox Ghost because it took forever to actually get it working. Oh, this is like the love the hat box. Ghost, yeah, bro. oh, it's a fabulous effect, but this is like the fifth version, fourth, fifth, somewhere around there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they've redone it several times, and like each time they make fabulous progress on it. But it's just the fact that it's you know it took this long to get it to a place that people are like, ooh. ooh. Uh, that one's good. Um, and then I like the like stories behind it, the theater, the theatrics of it. It's just all together. Like it's and at some points, like I'm a I'm a scaredy cat, and like some points actually scare the hell out of me, and I love that. And then there's like this little thing in the front of the castle that it's not a real ring, but it looks so much like a ring that they say it's the the um the oh, bride's the, ring. Oh, the pipe. Yes, the piece of the, pipe that's in the, the ground. The piece of pipe that's in the ground. People thought it was a ring. Yeah, people and thought it was a. So there, when it was actually after they did an update to add in the bride, the bride up in the yeah. attic. Uh, they when they redid parts of the queue, they didn't take the pipes out of the ground because it didn't make sense to. So they mm -hmm. just cut it flat to the ground. So it, you know when you cut a pipe in half, it looks like a ring. So people thought it was the bride's wedding ring mm -hmm. that she threw out of the haunted mansion. Yes, it is it, not. And at, it is not, but as of now, 
It is. <laughs> it is. And I love People that because I tried to dig and... it up and, like, oh, man. like it Oh, looks like, yeah, it's stupid. It's wild. And uh, it's just really fun, like, looking, like, even in the queue, it's really fun being in line because they literally don't do any upkeep because it's supposed to look like this dreary, um, like, Well, they do. Mansion. Well, no. Well, no. They they do. They do that stuff on purpose. Yeah, that's what I was like. They do it on purpose. No. No. You're, you're – we're saying the same thing, but we mean two different things. Okay. You're saying they don't do upkeep. Mm-hmm. I'm saying they do. Really? So much like, as I was saying before, with uh, the Tower of Terror, mm-hmm. that they got to redo the cobwebs like once a month. Mm-hmm. Similar bits over at the Haunted Mansion where it's not like they built this thing, you know, back whenever – And they've just let it go to shit now. Mm -hmm. No, they work. Like, like, instead of, like, washing the windows, they take a dirty rag and they scratch them up and make them grosser. (laughs) So they upkeep to make it look bad. There you go. Oh, my lord. So we were, like, both, we were both right. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, Like I said, we were saying the same thing, but we were saying... uh, it's it was the opposite sides, and the ballroom scene is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen because it's like it's it made is. of such advanced. Te- what well, I wouldn't say advanced technology. No, it's but very primitive technology. Primi- but it's pretty cool technology to me. Um, it's so it's such a basic effect, but I'm again I don't want to ruin that kind of magic for people. There's uh, actual there's, that. That's the only there's part of the tons of has. there's tons of videos out there explaining it. Uh, I I know for a fact Offhand Disney, who we mentioned before, has some videos about it because he loves talking about the haunted mansion and That's connections funny. to pirates and everything else is connected because he likes I'll... having a weird universe. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very basic effect. They use it all over the park. Uh, go look it up for yourself. Either way, we've gone too long with this episode. Stephen's wrong. The it's actually a real ghost at that part. Um, yes, it's in that, well, Stephen's see, books that, of lies. Listen, I didn't say what the effect was. I just said they used it all over the park, meaning there, there are ghosts all over. Listen, there's nine 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 hundred and ninety nine happy haunts, and you're next. <laughs> you're next. <laughs> that's that's how they get them. And then that's how one, everything actually works. And one last thing before we end oh the episode. Oh my god! One last do, episode. Do you think people have listened this long? Absolutely. Um, god, I hope so. One last thing was the no longer active, but my favorite thing that uh, Magic Kingdom used to do at the end of the night was wishes. Um, oh, the fireworks show wishes. We've talked about this. It made it, it's like. I don't get emotional easily. That show. Mm. Will bring you to ah. tears. It will bring oh, you to tears. Oh, God. The, the, the and music it's... and the projection and everything yeah. about it. Again, there's a there's a 4K video of it. I, like, we that watched good it. Quality on we you. watched We it. watched the entire thing we watched uh, entire recently. Thing. But other people, you listening, uh, if you didn't get a chance to see Wishes, Ooh. it is pa- hands down the best fireworks show they could have done. And I'm so mad they got rid of it. Because they also had Hallow Wishes, which mm. was the Halloween version. Mm. And it was just as good. Uh, like I'm but, like tearing up just thinking about it. It's yeah, uh, thinking about that song. Just mm. Alright. We gotta go. People mm. gotta do things with their lives and eat something and they stay hydrated. Long, well, we'll be back. We're gonna talk more Disney. In the right. If you if you like the Disney talk, we'll come back and we'll do more. I mean, world. we're gonna do another episode now, uh, after this anyway. Because I mean, there's a million other like we talked just about the parts and the, the, the resorts. Like we talked about that stuff. But there's still movies and music and TV shows and animations and all sorts of stuff that we that we need to talk about next time. Bye. Wishes, you are a wishes. Oh, we're gonna get copyright. Oh no, I gotta edit.